All right, Dragomir. Okay. I have good news for you, Dragomir. Turns out that the clock tower isn't haunted after all. It isn't? Nope. There was a beam that had a, uh, come loose and caught itself in one of the gears. That was what was causing the clock to stop working, as well as the noises. Ah, uh, yes. That does make sense. Now I feel foolish. Perhaps I should not be so eager to blame problems on the supernatural. Not all of them, anyway. This other one sounds like the real McCoy. Now, could you please tell me what you know about the Headless Vampire? Yes. My sister was bitten by the vampire. What happened? She was walking alone at night in the cemetery. I told her not to do this. She knows it is dangerous. But she did not listen, and she was attacked by the vampire. Is she alright? Yes, she got lucky. The bite was not deep. She was able to escape, but she told me what she had seen. It was unmistakably the headless vampire. What else do you know about it? Not much, I'm afraid. According to the legend, the vampire is a woman who used to live in this town. You should ask my friend Florian here. He knows much about the legend of the vampire. All right. You mentioned your sister's vampire bite wasn't very deep. Does that make any sort of difference? Yes. If vampire bites you, it does not mean you become a vampire. A vampire must bite you and drink your blood in order for this to happen. If vampire bites you but does not drink your blood, you become weak for a few days, but nothing else happens. This is why it is important to try and escape vampires as soon as possible. Interesting information. I'll keep it in mind. I appreciate your time. You're most welcome. Ah, foot is falling asleep. Okay, Florian. Of course, young man. Uh, what do you need? Your friend Dragomir here says you know something about the Headless Vampire. Correct, I do. The Headless Vampire is not what you might think. Instead of a body with no head, it is the head of a vampire which floats in the air seeking victims. From the neck hangs its entrails like a bunch of tentacles. The vampire will often trap his victims using the entrails as a restraint. Then go for the bite. Jeepers creepers. That sounds like something I wouldn't want to meet. Yes, it is unpleasant sight to behold. This is why all of the doors have dried brambles on them. The vampire's entrails are sensitive, and it fears getting them caught on the sharp points of the brambles. Hanging them on doors keeps the vampire away from our homes. Also, it is said that to kill the vampire, one must find its headless body and place sharp objects in the neck wound. This way, when the head reattaches, the entrails will be cut and the vampire will die. That's some useful information to have. Do you know anything about the vampire's history? A bit. The legend has existed for quite some time. Do tell. According to the story, the vampire was originally a woman. She was unfaithful to her husband, and when he found out, it infuriated him. As punishment, he stuffed her into a barrel and sealed her in. Sounds like a loving fellow. The young lady tried screaming for help, but no one came. Desperate, she shifted around in the barrel until her legs were behind her head, pointing up. She kicked the top of the barrel as hard as she could, trying to open it and free herself. She succeeded, but unfortunately she kicked with such a force that she caused her head to go flying off as well. Okay. Oh my. 
with her head went her insides, and since she committed the sin of adultery, she was doomed to roam the earth as an undead. That's quite a story. Any idea who the woman was? No, but I do know she lived in this town. You might consider searching the town records to see if you can get any information about her, if you desire it. Thanks, I just might do that. Thanks for the chat. Think nothing of it. Alright. Well, I do have one idea. Just because we keep seeing the name popping up so often. I'm gonna say, um... Radu Corza or Flavia and Florian. So let's go back to the that library or archives or whatever and take a look. Apart from that, I'm not sure what to look up besides Butaku. What? Oh crap. I don't remember where the archive was. Was it over here? Oh, maybe it was over here. Yeah, there we go. Okay. What can you tell me about this headless vampire everyone seems to be all in a lather about? It is bad luck to speak of these things. Local town woman died several years ago, come back as vampire. If you are out at night, you can become her next victim. This is why everyone stays indoors. Any idea who she could be? No, I do not have enough information. If you can find her name, I can find record for you. Great, I'll keep that in mind. I'd like to look uh, up someone in your town records, if that's alright. Yes, of course. What is the name of the person you are looking for? Okay, let's try Flavia and Florian, 1917. Well, it looks like I didn't need to write these down. Could you see if you have a record for Flavia and Florian from 1917? One moment. Ah, yes. Florian Gogoasa married Flavia Iano in this crap. I'm wondering if you can find a record for someone with the initials RK or ST from 1850. I will see. One moment. Hmm. There are no marriages between anyone with those initials on that year. However, there is a death. Ooh. You don't say. Yes. No name, but the initials are here. R.K. died on January 19th, 1850. Who's R.K.? I do not know. I will look through the records and see if I find anyone with those initials. However, it could take time. If you find the name before, please tell me and I try to help. Okay, I'll try my best. But I already know the name. It's, it's Radu Korza. What am I supposed to do? Grrr. Percy, you tell him. Uh. We know who this RK person is. Uh. This makes me mad. Okay, so let's go back to the gravestone, I guess. Maybe now that we know the death, we can, uh, um, confirm the year on the tombstone? Actually, that would make sense. We can't just randomly guess an initial means a random name with the same initials. Radu Corza, RK. What was that, Arthur? I think we may have found the mysterious RK. Only problem is, the date of death on this gravestone doesn't match the one the record keeper told us. 
Huh. Perhaps we should go back and inquire about it. Okay, that makes me kind of nervous. Uh, to be honest, I didn't... I don't remember the death take, uh, death date the guy told us, so I wouldn't have noticed that. Alright, dude, what's going on? Excuse me, fella. Could you tell me about Radu Korska? Or Korza? I think he may be RK, but the date of the death on his gravestone is 1850. Let me see. Radu Korza. No, he died in 1862. However, he had a daughter, Ruxandra, born 1831, died. Hmm, yes? Strange. I do not have a record of her death. But she surely must have been the RK who died in 1850. It is possible. Strange. No official record of her death, only her initials. Is there any way to find out for sure? Maybe. Corza family house is at the top of the hill near the hotel. There is an old Corza woman who still lives there. Maybe you can ask her. Thanks. I'll just go do that. Okay, wait. Where was it? Eh. I missed my notebook telling me what to do. Where was it again? Corza residence, which was on some hill somewhere? I don't remember seeing a hill unless they're talking about over here. Maybe it's over here? Can we go up here? Oh, we can. I didn't know that. Percy, you are so slow. Ooh, this place looks spooky. An ugly iron gargoyle stares down at you from the top of the archway. It's a run-down solitary house on a hill look overlooking the town. In the distance you see a large castle nestled between the hills. Well, let's get to it. Nobody answers. Maybe the Corzo woman is hard of hearing? Suggestions? Yeah, we know. Can we break down? Jeez. We can't, like... What am I supposed to do? Oh. I was just kind of joking. Hello there, Miss Corsa? Yes? My name is Arthur Jordan. This is my associate, Percival Q. Jones. Pleased to meet you, madam. We were wondering if we might be able to come in and ask you a few questions about your family. My family? How you know my family? We've been doing a little research into the headless vampire, and... Away! You get away from here! I'm sorry if I've upset you, but... Go away! Leave me alone! Oh. Oh. What should I do? Look, miss. I said go away! Well, that didn't go as planned. She does seem a bit stubborn. Perhaps it will take more than just words to convince her. Are you suggesting we club her over the head? Not quite such a violent solution, no. But I do think some action should be taken. Okay. Sounds like a pretty interesting advice. Uh, we'll have to try it in the next video for now. So I don't go on for too long. Alright, bye for now everyone. See you next time.